you know, the supervisors and the committee that's, that's a subcommittee under the supervisors that's in charge of, of Lake County Transit didn't do a very good job when it came to entering into a contract with Lake Transit. And as a result, when the, when the strike came about, Lake Transit was able to just take its sweet time and not really negotiate in good faith. Uh, they were able to leave the buses not running uh, for, a, for a long time with very little to lose, uh, or at least not, not running uh, at full capacity for a long time with very little to lose. And so the public lost out and the bus drivers lost out. And despite their good faith efforts to resolve the conflict, uh, the bus drivers were locked out and the bus company was able to get away with, uh, with a contract that they didn't really make in good faith. Uh, I've been endorsed by the Teamsters that represents the, the uh, bus drivers and there's a reason for that. It's because I understand that the next contract is going to be made, uh, it needs to be made with uh, some responsibility tied to it, with some accountability for, for Lake Transit. And uh, that's, that's what I'm going to push for. Bus transit. You know, I'm, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a bus rider, so I'm not going to have the sensitivities uh, to the issues that a bus rider would have. But it seems to me that the first rule in finding out how we're doing with uh, public transit and what is needed for public use and the support for that is to find the best representatives of that use and then listen to them. The main theme for the public service used to, should be to keep the controls local and have oversight and performance controls or performance clauses. Not just have managers that you trust, but verify the performance in an acceptable and independent way. Now people in District 3 are a fair uh, distance from many of the shopping centers and their shopping choices and their other needs such as medical. So a reliable system is needed with clear input from these people as to their schedule, the cost, and the convenience certainly the reliability. Homeless still have to get around and a complementary system might be needed and looked into to make sure that they can get to where they need to go. At a minimum, the Lake Transit Authority should have a citizens committee that provides recommendations and an annual report card of the authority's performance on the citizens behalf. Selection of that group to say so can be by a blind draw from a bucket of named interested people just anybody who wants to throw their name in a bucket will have a blind draw, pull them out, let's hear from you. No bias that way. Our, uh, we have a, a fairly decent bus system here in Lake County. Uh, our transit is um, improving hopefully every day. Uh, we have uh, the buses that are running later now. I would like to see uh, probably more in the future as our community has grown over 2,000 people in just the last uh, 10 years. So it's something that has been uh, very needed. Uh, still needs some expansions. I uh, hope that they will work with their employees a little better than what has happened in the past. Uh, we need to figure out uh, when, when uh, unions and management are not getting along uh, how do we keep our bus system going because for Lake County it is essential. It is one of our main uh, transportations here uh, that get people from uh, their homes to the stores and uh, this, this last event that happened was pretty detrimental to our community so I hope that we can work something out that that does not happen again. Uh, I'd like to see uh, more bus systems for the schools. Uh, you know, going, you know, for the kids that cannot take the school buses uh, more out in the point area where the buses don't go. Uh, it would be nice to see uh, a little more transportation out in that area. But I think as we go, uh, the system will expand and we'll all start learning to work together a little bit better.